Well, all right, all right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, hello. Welcome along. Simulation for the Nation here coming to you from Thornton Farm on console. And today, well, it's a beautiful spring day. We are early, early spring day three. We've been busy since we last with this. Let's have a look at what that looks like, shall we? As we come on through. Uh, so you'll see we've got a few fields of our own have all been drilled. So we've got fields 23 and 27 have been done, though. So we've got a few more that we want to get wrapped up. Uh, but we also want to do a little bit of extra work as well. 18 has been done. Uh, for some reason, it's not showing it here either, which is a fun uh, fun one to see. But uh, when you walk out into it, it has been planted. So there's that. Uh, so I guess we'll figure out what's happening there. But uh, yeah, so we're progressing along nicely. We've got a lot uh, of other bits and pieces to do. And I think what I'd like to do is uh, we've got a bit of fertilizer to do. We've got a fertilizer contract that we're going to have a look at field five, uh, I do believe it is, uh, which is worth quite a lot of money there, and it'll take no time at all to do that one. So that is exactly what we're going to do because well, we've been spending money. Uh, we're down about 100 grand since you folks last saw us. Uh, unfortunately, I did realize that we have a loan to pay. I should have checked in on that one earlier, which is 500 grand. So yeah, that's a lot of money. So... Paid off a bit of it already. Or well, I think it's 250 grand. Sorry, that makes more sense. Uh, and I paid off another 35,000 there now. So uh, that's bringing it down a little bit. It's a little bit more manageable. But that's only a part of where my money went. We did buy our new baler. Uh, like we mentioned, we were going to. And uh, we've also picked up something uh, rapid to go with it as well. So this shed is filling up very quickly indeed, which is great. Uh, we're going to go and get that start. Ooh, what I need to do. And what one of the the comments mentioned, I cannot remember who, I apologize, but big thank you very much indeed. Um, do, 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 do. We're just going to change vehicle arm, steer and sensitivity. Let's try and just turn it on to 50, see how we get on with that. See if that makes it a little smoother. There you go. I like that, that'll work. Andy. So I hope you're all well. You let us know what you've been getting up to if you're on console playing along. What, how's that going? Uh, what are you currently farming away on here? Thornton Farm's doing well for me, but I do have one query. Uh, I was recently given early access to Attenham Farm, uh, Attenham Park, beg your pardon, by GB Modern. A beautiful map. Really does look quite stunning. Very nice uh, visually. And that is due to come to console there. So I'm wondering what we may well do is just keep pushing on with this a little while. Uh, and then perhaps look into the option of maybe doing a little bit of a switcheroo to Athenum as soon as it's available on console. See what that looks like. Let me know down below what you think. Uh, because, yeah, that would be pretty cool. I'm going to 5, which is up the other way. Happy days. And we'll pull on into that. Yeah, it's otherwise it's all going very well. Uh, and I think we'll just stick into here. A little bit more drilling to do. We're getting through it. There's a lot of work to do there with the drill. But uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're clicking along, doing okay. Uh, it's what I typically do is set the hide work away. I'll do quite a lot of it myself there. But I do like a hide work once I can cover a bit of ground. You know how it goes. Uh, but otherwise, everything else is looking good. Hopefully, a new capture card coming shortly to kind of re revamp and refresh and, uh, the, uh, the, the image quality here a little bit. I want to get the most out of the Series S that we can. Hey, yeah, we'll see how that looks. But yeah, otherwise, all is well. All is good. They're on there. Uh, we have been doing a new series, actually, that we started just recently. Uh, around a Farmer Simulator 22. If you haven't checked that out, the first video came out on Wednesday. Next one will be this Wednesday coming. Where we will look into doing a little bit of a, a knockout tournament style thing, really. Which is pretty cool. I like the idea. Uh, essentially, as we begin to know more and more about the tractors that are coming through Farmer Simulator 22... We're going, to do a, we're going to kind of do a head-to-head -head with them. We're going to pit them against each other. Uh, and we'll see how they fare up and which one uh, has the most popular vote from you, uh, the viewers. Uh, and you do that by leaving a vote in the comments. And then we will... Uh, we'll, whichever one wins, gets the most votes, goes through to the next stage where it will face the next one up. Uh, and eventually we'll end up with the ultimate tractor, which is kind of pretty cool. It be good fun. Makes things a bit more interesting. Uh, and yeah, like I said, just... I wanted to be able to kind of really just enjoy the last, uh, you know, the last little bit of farming in the 19, but also get something different to talk about for 22 there and get the excitement going for some of the new machines that are coming through there. So I thought that was a pretty cool way to do it. Uh, and yeah, like I say, let me know down below what you think. If you are, uh, 
if you're curious about that or if you want to go watch that and cast your vote do so quickly because we will be or i will be counting up the votes to record the next one there so uh which will be the competitor so whichever one uh tractor wins will face the winner of the next video there so that should be pretty cool to see I like that idea quite a bit so yeah let me know what you think about that and otherwise other new news for today of course giants have announced that we'll start to actually see some more gameplay when august the 27th which is a week day at time of release of this video we expect to see some more footage from gamescon i do believe it is and also news about the new map as well which is gonna be kind of neat i'm really looking forward to see that uh so we should be able to get to see a, a good insight into what uh oh well, hopefully into some of the i hope it's gameplay around animals that we get to see i hope it's something that we you know we, we're still a bit curious about that'd be awesome if it is that's uh, really answer any questions we may have one we we'll almost expect that after that we'd see factories coming through so hopefully we do uh, because yeah then that kind of is a real insight that we're nearly there you know the end is not, not too far away that'd be pretty cool okay i don't really think we'll have to go too much further with this contract there you go massey's is getting a bit of a run out there today I do like this tractor an awful lot uh now we have bought the baler we bought we got a baler that was suggested in the comments and it's it's a nice baler don't get me wrong i think it looks good it's i got a little bit of a different configuration on it because i didn't really know you could do that and i'm all willing to do it so that's uh we'll have a look into that one in just a moment there but yeah pretty cool pretty cool to see uh and then we also got the wrapper because that thing i mentioned recently we really want to be able to capitalize as soon as the bailing contracts start to come through that's where we're going to make some good money so we really want to jump onto that where we can uh and then yeah we'll start to see our expenditure going down now in theory we've bought a lot of the equipment that we need the only thing we don't have is a combine which we'll be leasing for the of the amount of ground that we have it makes no sense not to but uh, we'll at least start to get that, that up and running uh, and then yeah we'll be in a, a place to really kind of have everything that we need owned and then we'll start to see some money come back and into the farm which would be pretty sweet and there you go not doing as always uh sim contracts here doing absolutely nothing extra not going that extra mile barely even finishing the mile we're running but hey it's looking good. Possibly some of the easiest uh, foreground I made. Then you can see, look at all this money. Uh, so, 33, I do believe, is a field that we, I drilled off camera, actually. It's down here. Yeah, that one's a doddle to do. And... Yeah, we'll take that one on because that won't take too much time at all. Alrighty, and away we go. Just realized I may have had a little fan in the background here, so you may have heard a little bit of noise. It is very hot still here in Canada. The humidity is off the darn scale, unfortunately. However, we will rather have that than the uh, miserable cold that we'll, we'll crack on. Alrighty then, so come through the main farm here. Would it be nice at one point to maybe be big enough to take on this? It just didn't really make much sense, to be honest. There's a lot of money to buy this land alone. And an awful lot of sheds that just really wouldn't need. Uh, and that's one thing if we do think about maybe taking on Athenham Park whenever it's free for the last little run in there. There'll be uh, you know a few different styles of yards there to go on. Uh, maybe see it as like buying out some new land somewhere and, and taking all of that over, but we'll have to wait and see about that one let me know like i say in the comments if you think that is a good move or not uh obviously we're still waiting there i believe gb modern is hoping to send i think he's actually just sent me the latest version but uh i think it'll be hoping to go to the giants this week was my understanding so that'd be cool if that's the case uh, uh and we'll stick this in here for now all right to the store again, I think. To the store. So yeah, got, got a new bailer, got a new wrapper as well. That's pretty much everything we need. Kind of getting used to this console life now in terms of what's available and what you can do. And, you know, I think it's... Well, I initially started on console, as many of you all know, uh, on Thornton Farm as well, which is why we're here. Uh, and it's... You know, it, it, it's improved significantly from where console started life. Uh, you know, I think that's got to be recognized. 
looking forward to seeing what the next uh, iteration for 22 brings out there because i think it'll be another significant step up with the number of dlcs and the number of equipment uh, and mods that are coming to console it's getting better and better and um, by no means is it where uh, we could be with pc uh, or mac uh, platforms however it is it's certainly on the way up and a lot better the num i would have killed for all of these bits of equipment here back in the day but look at that now i know that uh it might be a little bit more of a rare design but uh i just love that i recently updated on the mod hub there the, i love the material textures on this thing i love the fact that it's just on a single axle wider wheels looks pretty mean and it's john deere so now we've got that in there this massive doesn't look too bad on it might end up putting it onto the class but we will see i think i might need i think this works in uh collaboration with the straw add-on could be wrong that might just be for pc only there but we will uh we'll take it home nonetheless there you go but yeah look at that it's a beast Oh, wait to get going with this. Obviously, we've got a front loader. We'll have a bale spike as well, so we can move some uh, move some bales around on our trailer that we really need to get, start getting some use out of. Uh, we've got a grain trailer that we can cart all of our grain around as we get that off the combine there, which we will, of course, be leasing. Uh, now, if we lease it as well, we might go for a little bit bigger than we perhaps normally would. I think it's about 17 grand to lease one of those classic Ducanos, uh, which I have a sneaky sus suspicion won't be in... FS22. I think that might be getting moved along for the, the Treon that we have recently seen has been announced. But yeah, I think this will be a nice little move to bring this in. Uh, and yeah, we'll probably get something like a Tucano. A slightly larger header, a bit more practicality. A week and uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll get it all put together. And yeah, it won't take us long to do all of our harvest, that's for sure. But yes, look at this. I like that a lot. All right, so we've got one more bit of equipment to go. I think, why not? We'll take the class. Uh, like I say, we've got a bit more drilling to do, so we're going to get this on to that this afternoon there and just get it working away. A couple more big fields left, but uh, where are we looking? Assuming 18s can actually hustle on and get going there, it would look like that we've... Uh, let's just go down. There you go. Uh, where are we looking? Planted. So in theory, 18 should be kicking along in the moment there, which means we've just drilled 37. I want to say it is. Oh, no, sorry, we did 23. So we've got 37, and then we've also got uh, 36 left to do as well. So, uh, yeah, 1922 our grass, uh, which is why we do indeed need to go and pick up this wrapper, because, I, again, a few people mentioned we should do hay on our ground there, and we may well. Um, um, but you know we do need to think about what we can do with our bales we'll see may have just took the corner of the wall there we'll not talk about that too much we didn't see it, it didn't happen okay And uh, well, hopefully as well, once we get those two last fields drilled up and dusted, we'll probably leave the, uh, we'll, we'll kick time on a little bit. I'd like to get to kind of day four or five of spring before we look to do any uh, mowing. Really allow everything to kind of push on a little bit there, get some good growth. Uh, and then we'll we'll crack on with a little bit of uh, harvest work, really get the initial work done, get the fertilizer back on so we can maybe get a second cut of hay off. That'd be cool. Of course, we'll be careful because we can't really have too many bales. All right, so what I think we'll do, we're going to take this guy on down to the yard, we'll park it up, we'll drill back on, we'll get that ready to go, we'll get some more drilling done. Just another little update, really, as we get some more work done here. As we, I think, as I've mentioned there already, we've got everything built up in terms of machinery, we've got some contracts rolling through. It's starting to generate a little bit of money, not to spend it, which is always, uh, always fun. Uh, get the bank balance going in the right direction rather than the wrong. Uh, certainly, it seems like improving the steering sensitivity is making it a little less jerky, which is cool, so big thank you uh, i think it was jp in the comments there who mentioned that so big shout out to that thank you very much oh screenshots just uploaded that's fantastic i would like to get rid of those 
Uh, now. We just need to park this somewhere and then we'll have to get, move that gator out of the way, I think. That's a plan. Let's see how we get on there. So we're going to leave it here. Thank you ever so much for watching. As always, I do hope you have enjoyed. I've been Simulation for the Nation. This has been Fun Farm, the last day walkthrough on console. And we'll see you all in the next one. Until then, do stay safe, enjoy what you're doing, and we'll catch you later.